Welcome to my podcast entitled Disability in Motion. I'm your host, Lucas Keller. If any of you listeners out there have any feedback, please let me know. I welcome your feedback and suggestions. Hope you like it and enjoy. This episode is entitled, My Disability Doesn't Define Me. People have this misconception of people with cerebral palsy. My disability, like, they, they can't do certain things they can think for themselves, they can't go to college, they can't advocate for themselves, and a lot of it is ignorance, because like back in the day when people first came in contact with me, like before I even opened my mouth, they would just look at me and make a snap judgment, like Oh, he, he can't hear. Oh, oh, you have to talk to him like a, a little kid. A good example of this might be when I was younger, my family and I would go out to eat or go out to... Uh, access the community and especially restaurants my family would be ordering food and the server would look to the person I was with and say what does he want what will he have and um, to me looking back on it now I think that was a level of ignorance on the general public because now I have no problem ordering my own food. I tell the server what I want and um, not to mention they now have um, sensitivity training on how to deal with individuals with uh, disabilities. That hardly ever happened, but when it does, I'm very quick to speak up because I still want my voice to be heard. You know, stuff like that can really make a um, person with a disability feel empowered like they do have their own voice and it is still getting heard even though um, members of society still try to silence it. That's something that I like to always practice is speaking up for myself and showing other individuals with disabilities that it's okay to speak up for yourself and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. There's there's nothing wrong in that. We're all human. We all need help from time to time, even if you don't have, have a disability. So don't be afraid to speak up for yourself And you never know, people might be inclined to offer you assistance anyway, even when you don't ask for it. But you never know until you ask, so don't be afraid. Thanks so much for listening to my podcast. I hope you've found this episode informative and I hope I give you 
gave you some great advice on interacting with individuals with disabilities because you never know, you may be the next person to facilitate an interaction that can change the life of a person with a disability. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Be well.